Hello everybody. In this video, we'll present how to define general combined section in Strat. We'll be working with a simple frame model. The columns in this model are assigned to property number one and the beam is assigned to property number two. The combined section we'll define for the columns, property number one, is made up of two UNP 200 sections, a top plate with a section dimensions of 250 by 8 millimeters, and a bottom plate with a section dimension of 100 millimeters by 8 millimeters. The beam section, property number two, is made up of an IPE 200 section, a UNP 100 section, and two L 40 by 3 sections. Let's start to define the columns section. Select beams, then properties, highlight property number one, and select define revised. Then select comb and general. The combined section is made up of subsections. There are three options for subsection definition. From table allows the user to select a section from a table, in our case a European table that was selected in section type window. Strap property allows the user to select an already defined property. In our model this is the first property we are defining so we can select this option. The third option, plate, allows the user to add a plate by inserting its section length and thickness. Now, we'll start defining our combined section. The first subsection will be UNP 200 from the European table. After selecting the section, we must position the reference point. The reference point is a point at which the subsections will be connected. Clicking the reference point button will allow us to select the reference point position. Selecting OK will end the subsection definition. The next window, General Combined Section, will display the combined section. At the moment, we only defined one section, so only one section is displayed. The combined section reference point is also displayed. Additionally, in this window, the user may select the major axis direction of the combined section and its material. Let's name our combined section and check our definition by measuring distance. The distance displayed is a relative distance between the last two selected points. Now we'll add the second subsection, another UNP 200. Select the option Flip Horizontally and change the position of the reference point. The next window, New Subsection Location, will allow the user to define distance between subsections by inserting a measurement DX for horizontal spacing or DY for vertical spacing. In this example, the distance between the sections is 100 millimeters. We'll enter minus 100 in DX direction. We can check our definition by measuring the distance. Now, we'll add the next subsection, 250 by 8 plate. Select add and plate and insert the plate dimensions. We'll change the position of the reference point to the lower left corner of the plate. We can see that the two subsections were connected. In order to connect the plate in the right position, 
we'll change the combined section reference point. Now, let's add the last subsection, 100 by 8 millimeters plate. Select Add, change the plate length to 100 millimeters, and change the location of the reference point. To connect the plate in the right position, we'll change the combined section reference point once again. Now let's define the beam property, property number 2. Highlight property number 2 and select Define Revised, Comb and General. The first subsection is IPE 200 from the European table. We'll change the location of the reference point and click OK. We'll give the combined section a name and continue to the next subsection. Select Add, and let's add a UNP100. Rotate the section, and change the location of the reference point. We can see the combined section combined from an IPE 200 and a UNP 100. Before adding the next subsection, let's change the reference point of the combined section to the lower left corner. Select Add and from table select section L 40 by 3 with flip vertically and flip horizontally we can rotate the section and change its reference point. Let's end the definition and select OK. Now let's change the combined section reference point once again to the lower right corner of the section and add the second L 40 by 3 section. We can see the combined section. Let's ask to see a render view and we can clearly see the combined sections. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.